we've got the single stage antifoams from Three Brothers RC. Three VRC right here in the capper. These are the wheels and tires I use on the Ecto right here. These things are awesome. They allow you to get compliance. They allow that tire to absorb, but not hardly any side roll. Makes a huge difference. I'm gonna show these to you on the table and get it right outside. Take a look. So check out the capper. This obviously was an RTR. I've got the DSM as limiting straps on the front. It keeps the thing down, but still allows it to get all the articulation. The tire foams, you can see they're already kind of absorbing some of the table. But there's almost no side roll, you know? Um, previously, to get a tire that would conform like this, you'd end up with a big old floppy tire. Not so, not anymore. So these things right here, uh, I'm really happy with them. I've got him in SV2 now. Uh, he's working on some for the uh, SEX6. So that's going to be huge right there. Can't wait to get my hands on a set of those. But you know what? We're going to get this thing powered up on 3S. It does have the X2300 in it. And we're about to get it outside. Well, let's see what they got on the ramp. Looking for tire deflection. There's, uh, I think this has the mild overdrive in it. It's been a while since I've driven this thing. Looks like they're coming on up. Very nice. Looks like it's a, about to maybe get past that joint there, but. Nope. Now we're going to get into some side hill action up here. Now this does have the axe, the uh, 2300. This is an older system at this point, but it is a real 540 system. So it actually works really good in this and it bolts right in. Didn't have to trim any of the uh, link mount or any of that. We're going to get into some side hilling too. So should be pretty darn awesome. I want to see if I can get up this. See so if I can get this thing in. Oh, wow, look at that. That's a beautiful U-turn right there. Oh, I got caught up in the undercut there. That front end just barely made that, but you know what? Got it pretty darn good there. Now the, the TGH wheels I typically run on this narrow it up and kind of cover some of the portals, you know, but right now I got a little bit of brass hanging out and all that, which isn't really my thing, but it is what it is for now. I just wanted to see them on this truck or this cap rod. Here we got some side hill action. Get that belly over that. You know, I've still never have I done the, uh, look at that, the flat belly in this thing. That is awesome. Now I'm gonna get up to the top, turn it around, and come down and make a turn. That really will test these things on side hill. Let's see what we got here. Turning like this really, really tests it. Let me sink it down there. That is not bad at all. We should be about everything we're going to be now. It's got some. Considering how soft these things are, that is really good. Let's go ahead and see if we can get into the crack of doom. Now, cappers generally have done this pretty well. You have a really good history with the crack of doom over here. Get my thumb in position. See if we can make that catch right there. These thumbs are awesome. Got some tire compression there, but no side roll. Get that to drop down into there. And then we just hope that it stays. 
There we go. Look at that compression right there. Very nice, very nice. Ooh. Now the one thing about this 2300 with an 11 tooth, it is a little bit on the fast side. If I can get that, to... look at that tire compression. <laughs> what we got going on up front? We got something good going up here? Let's see. There it was. Let's give this one right here a try just because it's so wide. But with all that portal hanging out from these wheels and the offset, it may actually really put a hurting on me here. All right, get that to settle down. Get that hook on top of there. I got to try to work this thing just right here. All that portal hanging out. That's why I don't like wheel spacers and all that stuff. I mean, I love portal axles, but they just, they have their drawbacks. Now the front left, is on the upside of the tire, the back side of the tire. Oh, well, here we are. <laughs> no chance. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, hmm. That was really tough. I'm gonna pass on it, but let's go ahead and take it up. The other way here, the normal way for ridge line. It should make this pretty well. Ah, nice balance. The unmanicured spot. This might be the widest vehicle I've tried to put through this. Let's see, ease this down. Try to make this thing go right. Now that was the easiest I've got it so far. I gotta watch all that undercut right there. Nice tire compression. Now I gotta work this thing up and around. Oh, that was easy. That was easy. Easy run for the Capra. Heck yeah. And just because I haven't driven the capper in so long, we're gonna go ahead and try this right here, just to see. Oh. <laughs> Got it. One last crawl, the cliffhanger. Let that thing hang over the side there. Hopefully the portal See how it don't get me too bad. Nice crawl, nice crawl there. Oh wow. Okay, look at the tire compression right there. Look at all these tires right here working. I'd love to one-shot this. I don't think it's gonna happen though. Unless that front end just makes the pull, because I am way high over here. Nope, nope. Got to get myself. Wow, how's that for compression? <laughs> That's some contact patch. Ah, easy. When I was talking about it going fast, yeah, it's geared way fast as opposed to pretty much any other crawler that I've got. And there it was. The accuracy of the steering is just awesome. It doesn't allow the tire to flop over. When the tire doesn't flop over, you get the full turn. When the tire flops, the truck, the thing just simply pushes like this. You know, it just, 
rolls. Probably a bad spot to show you this. But um, yeah, it just simply rolls and you lose a lot of effective steering. On the back, if you have a lot of tire roll on the back, it can actually bring the back end down. So if you're trying to get between two gates on an incline or on a side hill, that back can actually slide down into the gate. So it's all about accuracy and tire conforming. Uh, big thing for me. So hopefully you guys liked the video. Um, in that description, we'll put links to 3BRC. I'll link the, the wheels off of Amazon, tires, the capper, the servos, all that stuff. So you guys make sure you check out that description and use those links. They are affiliate links, AMA, eBay, Amazon, and Horizon. So they do help out the channel when you guys use them, guys. So uh, you know what? Get you clicking. Guys, thank you all for watching. Guys, if you like what you see, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and ring that bell. So, in the description, there's a link to become a channel member. If you want to become a channel member, it's a very simple $2, $5, $10, or if you really got some money, $25 a month. It's a simple way to support the channel. So, get that, and I am doing monthly giveaways for members only, so you might want to consider it. So, guys, use those links. Make sure you're subscribed. Thank you all for watching.